All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm mostly together. Just shut this off. And turn this on. Howdy. Howdy, I'm the Sheriff of Mysteries. Great, thanks. I can't believe you don't respect law enforcement. By which I mean valid. All right. No point delaying it. Oh, right, right, right. I had just gotten the decoder. Uh, God, I'm gonna have to, like, get all my focus back. Oh, God, right. There's so much sore shit. Uh, so where's that picture? Why do I still have this? Weird. Okay. Uh, so... Nine, five, three... That's almost- Hi! Hi, creature. Also, I didn't explicitly say it, but hi, Gray. Right. I should... I think it was 953. What? Yes! What? Yes! What? Why would they not move? Nine, five, three. That's four. Nine, five, three. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. There was something to do with this. Can't use it yet. <laughs> so F O F C L L B K E N I J T D K D. Oh, right. God damn it. Eh? Uh, are my keys somehow not? Okay, for some reason... Huh. A lot of these keys just... What the fuck? Uh, I need to take pictures or this is just gonna drive me insane. All right. Well, 
Well, gosh. Oh, oh, right. Uh, in this case, it needs 109. So... I need to stop backing out of everything every time. Wait. What? There is no zero. Maybe, maybe 10 means zero? Probably. That would make sense. All right, message of... Okay, hold on. What? Oh, that might be a problem. Yeah, my keys don't, strictly speaking... Oh... Hey, this is me hitting the same key repeatedly. Um... Ooh, uh-oh. Huh. It is 109. What? What? Uh, okay. Danger by des design. Decoder. I'm going to double check this. This is... I've already found the wine bottle. fuck is all this? I haven't even seen half of this. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Welcome back. What do you like? Okay, one moment. Apologies. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna go call one of my friends.
and see if they give me more direct directions. <laughs> because the thing is, working towards this decoder was the only goal I... I, I was given for a while. And now I'm left feeling kind of like... I'm feeling kind of like I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Because <laughs> I know that decoding number, but I don't know what to do with it. Like, I don't have a message to decode with it, as far as I know. Hello? It's me. How was your run? Jog. It was definitely a jog. And the best part is, it's over. What's going on, Nan? You should see how cool, calm, and collected Manette's assistant Heather is, even when Manette is totally wigging out. I don't get it. I mean, how could anyone work for a woman who goes around wearing a mask all the time? Apparently, Minette has fired three other assistants in the past five months alone. Sounds like Heather is quite the survivor. Or maybe she's the reason the others didn't survive. Ooh, good point. Don't turn your back on her, Nan. She may end up sticking a knife in it. I took this very strange phone call from Minette. At least I tried to. What was so strange about it? The guy wouldn't give me his name, and he sounded Oof. very hostile, and he had a German accent. And, not long after that, some unknown person sent Minette a box of cockroaches. Ew, yuck. Tell me about it. They got loose all over her office, and she made me find them and put them back in the box. Double yuck. Did any kind of note come with them? Nope. Sending anonymous letters is one thing, but sending live vermin? Sounds to me like things are getting personal. Yeah, let's just hope they don't start to get deadly. The windmill Minette works out of was once owned by a woman named Noisette Tornade, who used to be a resistance fighter during World War II. Was it like her headquarters or something? I don't know, but I can tell you that a certain young German fashion photographer who used to date Minette has been carrying around the woman's obituary. Why? Don't know that either. I have the number of someone hmm. in the States who's doing research All right, on her. yeah. Maybe I'll give her a call. Good idea. Something tells me the more you know about that old windmill, the better off you'll be. You'll never guess where I went skin diving. Skin diving? You went skin diving in Paris? Where? In the Seine? No, in one of the tunnels underneath the city. Why? Well, this is the weirdest thing to say. Long story, but it was actually okay. I swam through some Long interesting story. stuff. I'll bet you did. It's not like I was in a sewer or anything. Nancy, you're in Paris, the city of lights, of beauty, of romance. How could you possibly wind up skin diving under the city? Well, I just did. Note to self, before agreeing to visit a foreign city with Nancy Drew, have your head examined. I'd better go. Bye-bye. Soyez prudent. Uh, I wish I didn't have to call the calling card number every single time. Uh, yeah, let's call in. All in. Modern European history, Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier when you tried to call Manette. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful. Please, Oh, on. sorry. Uh, I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. Oh. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. All right, let's figure out what questions to ask. How long did she live in the Moulin, where Manette now has her studio? She lived there for 55 years, from 1949 to 2004. She sold it when she moved to Provence, which is where she passed away. She never married, you know. Very private person. She served as Paris's director of public works for more than 20 years, yet not one person has been able to tell me what her favorite color was. 
What did she do during the war? From 1942 until the liberation I mean, of Paris, Loisette people usually go talking about the colors that way. And an encoder for the French resistance by night. This, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved oh, with the German uh -oh, culture. Uh -oh. was Hans, Hans von Schwesterkronk. You're kidding me. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Was he by any chance related to Dieter von Schwesterkronk, the fashion photographer? I'm afraid I have no idea. Hans left Paris right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette to fend for herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. You see, some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork, mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Okay, okay, this is almost starting to be, like, starting to see war? where I, what I'm trying to work towards. To this day. No one knows exactly what Noisette took, or if indeed she took anything. In any case, Noisette was terribly hurt that the city she loved had turned on her like that. After her trial, she told the press that the truth of what she'd done during the war resided in her and in the person oh, and place well, she loved the most. That's... And that was that. She never spoke of her wartime activities again. I assume that's that the bad person move. she was referring to was Hans von Schwesterkronk, who passed away a year or two ago, and that the place was her beloved Moulin, which is why I'm hoping Manette will allow me to visit it. Now, I've got a question for you. That's that's in a bit the hours sus. Before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words. Red left green. Is there anything inside the Mulan that has to do with red left green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and let you know if I see something. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? Yeah, tell tell me about what like the, the coolest French shit. Resistance? That was the name given to the various groups of men and women who did their best to undermine Germany's military occupation of France during World War II. Someone it's really weird that you're not saying sabotage, Nazis, but others would collect and pass intelligence along to the Allies. Needless to say, their operations were highly covert and very dangerous. What else can you tell me about the German occupation of Paris? The German army entered Paris on June 14, 1940, and after France formally surrendered on June 22nd, the Germans controlled the city. They took whatever they wanted: food, supplies, houses, artwork and dictated how Parisians were to live their lives. Naturally, their presence was deeply resented. Some people ignored the situation as best they could. Some collaborated with the Germans. I, I mean, others, I mean, like I think that I think their presence was resented for more than just like like they were bullies. I, I think there might have been one or two other problems people had with the Germans. About then. The, the way you're the way you're talking around it is really weird, game. After the war, when she was the director of public works, what kind of things did Moisette do? She oversaw many of the services which the citizens of Paris enjoyed every day. Streets, bridges, parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so allegedly, allegedly, she pretended to, to like, uh, to cooperate with the Nazis for the sake of sabotage and actively work against them behind the scenes. Uh, and yet. And yet, when people like are, are are accusing her of being a collaborator, her response is, "No one will know the truth of what I did." What? 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 What's the story behind the cross of Lorraine? The vertical bar crossed by two horizontal bars is an emblem that was first used by Joan of Arc, as well as the Dukes of Lorraine in the 15th century. But during and after World War II, it became a symbol of the French resistance. Nowadays, it's not unusual to see it on statues or monuments commemorating the period in French history from 1940 to 1945. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? Collaborators were French citizens who not only failed to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Noisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. 
When it was revealed that she had been a member of the Resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans, too. As I said before, uh, it was an ugly time. One which porn was at. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. An ugly forget. time? Hold on, what was ugly about it? Ma'am? 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 What, what was ugly about that, ma'am? <laughs> Man, I picked a hell of a time to take a break and come back. Do you know anything about the M380 decoder? It's a machine that the Resistance is said to have used to encode and decode their messages during the war. To decode a message, the dials on it had to be in the same position as they were when the message was encoded. The famous Enigma machine operated in much the same way. Oh, fuck yeah, the Enigma machine. I love that game. The famous what? The Enigma machine is what the Germans used to encipher and decipher their secret messages during World War II. Allied codebreakers were finally able to figure out how the machine worked, and as a result, some say the war ended two years sooner than it would have otherwise. How likely is it that Noisette used an M380 decoder? I would stake my reputation on it. Well, your reputation's kind of shaky, but you are Amer you are an American historian, so, like, this is how half of us talk about, like, things surrounding Nazi Germany anyway. Even very helpful. Thank you. Call back any time. I don't want to. I'm beginning to understand why, uh, why the masked fashion designer doesn't want to talk to you. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Is Joe there, too? Joe, pick up. It's Nancy. Right here. Hey, Nance, is Jing Jing with you? Well, yes, she is, but... Let me talk to her, just for a second. Joe, she's busy, and I really don't know her that well. You're not talking about me, are you? Oh my gosh, that was her? That was J.J. Ling? Joe, you're hyperventilating. Of course I'm hyperventilating, that was J.J. Ling! What else is going on, Nan? Oh, I have nothing to talk to him about. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad I got to, like, rile up the himbo. Bye. I'll let you go. Keep in touch. Bye, Nancy. Oh, he calmed down. Well, fuck me. That didn't help me get much more of a picture on what to be doing at all. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? I don't want to play fucking hangman. Okay. <laughs> Why do you call your car the himbo? I guess I'll just hit up NPCs and see if any of them have direction for me. Okay. Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? I'd better get going. Okay, well, uh -oh. nothing from him. <laughs> you forgot, huh? He's the food man, that's what he is. The food man, got the master plan. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, it's been a week, maybe I won't be constantly confusing these two doors. What's up? How do I Talk not have later. any- Whenever you have questions, Give me just some ask. kind of direction, game! What? I won't disturb you any longer. Good. What do you want from me? Red, left, green. Probably something unrelated to like the, the fashion equipment.
And I don't think the masks were already here. So, yeah, I got no fucking clue. Yep, I already fucked it up. I already fucked it up. Uh, yeah, maybe I can talk to, to, to Germsman. No, he's still in there doing something. I don't know. I think I do need a task list because nothing in the game is giving me a task. Mr. Von Schwesterkronk? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. But this is really important. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, if you want, you could take some stock photos. What was that noise? Sure. The list of things I need pictures of is on my desk. You can use the camera I let you borrow. I'll get right on it. Oh, no. The list is in French. I... What are you doing in there? It sounds like the wettest, grossest shit. I have to go. I... It, it's the whole... I... It, it, it's the whole gameplay function right now. I have to just go make money by painting paintings over and over and over again to buy the various things at the, at the street vendors. That's absurd. That's absurd. I'd like to paint some oh, more, Oh, well, I guess. Okay. Be my guest. Gotta keep painting the same two pictures over and over. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not losing it. I barely started. I can't be losing it this soon. this one to let me down it started off so strong uh parenthetical insane but also i don't think i'm in charge of whether or not whether or not it fucks up at this point ah <sighs> I mean, I'll be honest, that's that's pretty normal for <laughs> for like weird German perverts. <laughs> fucking fucking Clover coming out here with the <laughs> with the weird stereotypes. You motherfucker. All right, uh, uh, dark purple. Like, from what I can tell, I probably wouldn't be having to do this much if I, like, bargained better. But, yeah, yeah, that's really the thing, isn't it? Huh? It sure, it sure fucking is a recurring element. I'd love to be, like, investigating the mystery, but I gotta make money. I have to make money to buy, like, multiple important objects from these, these shops at this, at this park bazaar. As one does. Hey, Lynn.
You're not... You're not, uh, you're not gaming that much, if I'm totally honest. But I'm happy to have you here. I hate, I hate this painting. Why aren't, why couldn't they have just put in like three more? The game's giving me very little direction. I have to paint things to make money Monsieur, to buy things. This? Another fan job. Here is your money. I had to. Do you wish to paint another? I Not had right to now. listen Maybe. to Later, to some yes. woman's weird now opinions about World War II. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well. How much is this? 30 euro. Will you let me have it for 15 euros? For this, that is nothing. The price is 30 euro. Then I'm not interested. What else appeals to you? How much is this? 30 euro. Then I'm not interested. What else appeals to you? Fuck. 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 Are these gloves very expensive? Not expensive at all. 18 euro. I don't think I want them after all. What else appeals to you? Well, I can't bargain it down now. How much is this? So... 30 euro. I'll take it. It is yours. What else appeals to you? I'm losing my mind that there's Actually, not... Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. That there's not been, like, any other... Like, ways to make spending money. It's just those two paintings. Those two fucking paintings over and over and over again. Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Honestly, it would be really nice if Mina or M.M. were in here, because then I wouldn't even have to bother with this stupid book. Okay, take a picture... I hope the shark's important. Okay, so I have the words on their own. Stop hitting down, Clover! Uh, it looks like it's a cross-reference French words to learn what they mean, puzzle. Jesus. Okay, a stapler. A spider. A candle. A skull. A cross. In a teapot. So, spider, candle... Shit, I'm, like, already forgetting these. Uh, it was spider, candle, cross, teapot... But... Uh, but there's two more. What were they? Spider, candle, cross, teapot... Uh, 
skull, spider, candle, cross, teapot, skull, and stapler. It, let me open up notes. Oh my god, where's my note list? Oh my god. Spider, candle, cross, stapler, skull, oh my god, what was the last one? I just repeated these like 10 times to myself. Teapot. Okay, well, I know where a cross is at least. Oh, oh, whoops. It's too late to go anywhere now. Uh... It's like there's a, it's like there's a time, I don't think there's an actual time system, I think it's based on progress, but it doesn't feel like they're a coherent, like, oh, no, there's just a time system that's invisible because they took away the clock, and I don't have my cell phone for some motherfucking reason. Uh, Schmack buzz repeat rumors of underworld ties, top story, and pseudo political science decides to close the doors. Uh, Gunther and Ernst Schmack, Ernst Schmack, Oh, bringing up East Germany, huh? After the weird shit you've done with, like, avoiding saying the word Nazis? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, here's the fucked up thing about this game. During its high points, I keep going like, oh, this is one of the funniest Nancy Drew games. Um, but the game is not made entirely of high points, is the problem. Don't make me have to set these again. Oh, you're making me set them again. Fuck me, really? Wait, what? Where? How do I? How? Oh, what? Am I trying to set them all to 12? Or maybe to three because I can't turn the center one? Oh god, I need to get in there and take a picture of a spider. Nature sure is beautiful.
Jesus, that's loud. Well, that painting seems important, but I guess I can't... It seems like it relates to that hint I was given about colors and left, but I can't, like, notice it, so... Who fucking knows? Stapler, which will probably be here Water, somewhere. The source of all life. Thank you, Sabrina. Oh, God, shut up. Think that's a staple? I need to get the fuck away from here. Okay, a teapot. I'm through making tea. Hopefully for good. Well, yeah, but I need to... Uh, hopefully this picture is close enough. Okay. What else? I've gotten the spider, a cross, stapler, teapot... I need to get a skull and a candle. I don't think I've seen a candle anywhere. I'm sure I must have. <sighs> okay, first I'll see if... I know where to find a skull. There's so many skulls. I can see if, like, there's a candle on. Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? That's, uh, that's not a candle. I'd better get going. Au revoir, Mademoiselle. God, I hate to see him. All right, well, let's go to the the underground, where the skull is. Did I really click the wrong spot? Okay, I guess I'll check and see if there's a candle in here at least. And there does not seem to be. Ugh. Game needs like an infinite money cheese, what it needs. Okay, so it's here. Okay, good, I did have enough. Also, there's a candle. Wow, I did it. I'm a photographic genius. Get me the fuck out of here. Mr. Von Schwesterkrank, could I ask you something? Sorry, too busy. But I have your photos! How do I tell you I have the photos? How do I know I have the photos? Two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Okay, danger by design. Photos. 
No, not developing photos. Die. Okay, the stock photos. Stiction. All right, yeah. Yep, these are all normal. So how do I, like, flag down that I'm done? Wait. What do, you, what do you want from me? How do I turn them in? This was my one goal! Game didn't like the way I'd taken the cross photo. Oh no. Okay, well, I. Apparently, that just means that one of the photos didn't come out the way the game wanted, and. Fuck me if I. I just have to experiment. I. I Mr. just Bunch, gotta. Mr. Kronk, could I ask you something? Sorry, too busy. It's the only one that looks like I could immediately imagine there being a problem with it is the cross, and if it's not that, um, despair. Maybe I actually need to take it from back here. Maybe that was the problem. Mr. Von Schwesterkrank, could I ask you something? Sorry, too busy. The photos! The photos, you motherfucker! God, I hate that noise. Okay, if it's the candles, I'm going to die because I think I don't have enough money and I'll need to paint another picture. So I'm gonna attempt the stapler again. There's literally no way the spider's a problem, but the stapler isn't centered, so like... I don't know, maybe that'll do it. Ugh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, I didn't actually get now I have the stapler. I didn't have the stapler before, but the stapler's obtained. What the It's fine, my brain is normal. I'm very calm. I'm so calm and rational right now. Did you take all those photos for me? You sound as if you didn't think I could do it, but I did. They're all right there in your camera. So you had some questions for me? What do you know about Noisette Tornade? The French resistance fighter? I seem to recall readings that she died recently, and that's about it. Why do you ask? I know three things, Mr. Von Schwesterkronk. One, Noisette Tornade, whose obituary you were carrying until it fell out of your pocket in the park. 
Noisette used to own the old windmill Manette now owns. Two, during World War II, she was rumored to have hidden several valuable works of art from the Germans somewhere in Paris. And three, she was romantically involved with a German soldier named Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. Oh, yes. I know all those things, too. Hans was my great uncle. But there are one or two things you don't know, Fräulein. You could not have known that just before he passed away, my great uncle gave me that. What is it? Something Noisette gave to him. Turn it over and look on the back. Hey, uh, 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 Schwesterkrank, I have a question. Um, was your granddad a Nazi? Unfortunately, my great uncle couldn't remember what any of it meant. She used to be the director of public works, so I went to her favorite park to see if anything there might help me figure out what that card means. But I discovered nothing. You can keep that if you want. I can? Yes, I give up. I don't care anymore. So was your, was your great uncle a Nazi? Would you answer my question, sir? Finding that lost artwork is why you started going out with Manette, isn't it? Since Minette owns the Moulin, where Noisette spent most of her life, I thought dating her would help me figure out what that card meant. But then something totally unexpected and tragic happened. I fell in love with her. Minette is one of the cleverest, most infuriating, yet fascinating women I have ever met. You still feel that way? Even after she broke up with you like that? I can't help myself. I thought that if I found that missing artwork, I would be a hero and Minette would change her mind about me. But I can barely keep my mind on my works these days, let alone on finding some mystical treasure. If you want to look for it, go right ahead. Right now, the only thing I'm interested in recovering is Minette. Sure, what the fuck ever, dude. What? In the Christing fuck is this? Ah. Uh. uh. What was the hint? Red, left, green. So, I guess maybe... I don't fucking understand how I'm discovering anything from these, but alright. Let me try marking every green. <laughs> Literally how... Sue Loren 4154. Okay, yeah, alright. I... I, 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 it would have been pretty cool if the game, like, gave me some sort of indication of how I was getting those numbers from that, because then I could feel like I'm learning something. Uh, I guess I'll just ask around for what the fuck that means. How's it going? Guess I'll be running along. See ya. Okay. Alright. Okay. So. At least, I think at this point, I know the main puzzle to be working towards, which is solving the thing, solving the, the postcard hint. And. Something, something bullshit. Bullshit, fuck ass. Okay, danger by design. Universal hint system. Bing, bing. All right, there's horse shit where they redesign their site so none of the Google links immediately link to what I need.
Danger by design. Yeah, give me the hints. As I just let us spin and put. What? But. It's. It's right there. Okay, let me try the desktop version of the site. I found the game in search. I clicked view hints. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um. Uh, pu pu puzzles. Eyeball card. I've made that, made that, made that. I've done that, done that. I guess I haven't used. I. Have I been able to. Wait. What? What are all these? I don't recognize these at all! I don't recognize these puzzles at all. Uh. What? Uh... I, yeah, I don't know. The postcard, I guess. Or using the the M3280. Yeah, tell me what's up with the back of the card. Is that panels? Panels? What are you saying? Um. Uh, sh sure, I'll look. Windmill. Oh, alright, so that's the last one. So, back off of that. Uh... What does it mean then, was it? Okay. Alright, uh... Do I have enough to get down here? I probably don't. I'm betting I don't. A ticket until I have five euros. Oh, uh, uh, uh. let's paint us a picture. Who doesn't love painting pictures? Please. Bonjour. What intrigues Mademoiselle just, this time? Just give me a Do picture. Do you still need someone to paint pictures for you? Be my guest. Just give me the stupid fucking picture. I'm fine. I'm normal. I'm normal. Everything's cool. Everything's cool and good. And it's fine. It's fine.
Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. I mean, yeah, this is probably going to be important. What's this book about? That is a very good book about codes which are commonly used. It is a mere 15 euro. How about 8 euros? Vendu. What is tickles the fancy? Hey, and I should have been paid enough that, yeah, I stop really it up. I don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. <sighs> Au revoir. Oh, okay, I guess this would have explained it, but it didn't fucking matter because I was able to... That, that there wasn't there wasn't really a puzzle to solve. I knew what ones to click, and then I clicked them, and it just auto-transcribed a message. Which, you know, I sound like I'm bitching about that. I I'm not I'm not really. That's pretty good to have happen. Un, s'il vous plaît. Uh Okay, how do I How do I find the Noisette in the catacombs? Uh What was that panel? Three distinct areas of the sewer. All right, I'll do that first. Um. As soon as I remember where the fuck to go... Oh, right. Oh, here I go swimming again. Sorry. I'm not, I, I, I don't even remotely. Just tell me, just tell me. I do not even vaguely feel bad about, like, at this point, not caring. Urbex? Oh, Urban Explorer. Understood. Two, four. I have no idea what this is, but after everything I went through to get here, I'm taking it. Fair enough. 
All right, let me get it. Get me the fuck out of here so I never have to come down to these fucking sewers again. I... It, as much as I'm annoyed by this task and having trouble even figuring out how to proceed with it, I'm most blown away by the fact that, like, it took this far into the game for me to be given something concrete that makes my brain go like, okay, this is what I'm trying to work towards. Hey, my book on codes is missing. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh... Oh, well, if I needed that again, I would have to go buy another one. Gigantesque, avec les dents tachées de sang. Ne dis pas ça, ça me fait peur. T'es sûr Non, mais l'absence du monstre ne prouve pas qu'il n'existe pas. Va voir. Euh, non merci. Je préfère ne pas savoir. Oh, que tu es lâche. Je suis pas lâche. I'm sure this is incredibly riveting dialogue, if I can understand it. I never have to come back into these fucking catacombs again. Get me out. Okay, so. Was that big cross? God, half of these characters just stop talking to me too, which isn't helping. Oh, what? Um, what did it say? Four, one, five, four. Oh. Oh. Okay, yellow... Blue, red, closed, partly open, big open? Let's try that first. Stroke Jesus.
What was that? Okay, this has to make it to purple. I think that's the right position. Sounds like that squirrel doesn't like people messing with his statue. Oh, okay, I guess I have to do that last. I'm... What the fuck do you want from me, game? Light. I bet I can't get it for five euros, but let's find out. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only ten euro. Batteries included. Five euros seems fair. It is yours. Oh, fuck. Right, the flashlight froze my game. No, 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 no. Hey, my book on codes is missing. Okay, okay, I'm just down here. Whatever. I'll take it. How the fuck am- How do I get the flashlight? Danger by by design flashlight. I'm looking. Okay, looking at posts talking about this. Hey, hey, has this game been so badly programmed that, that... Bonjour, mademoiselle. Oh, please need, stop. Sure to have. Well... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only 10 euro. Batteries included. 5 euro seems fair. It is yours.
This is a. Uh, this is not an optional item. I'm going to double check and see if there's more posts. Just anyone with a fix. Boy, there's sure this sure is like the single most consistently reported glitch in Nancy Drew, and it sure is like being blamed on an improper installation. Um, one second. I'm going to try just closing the game and reloading it. Possibly, what I might want to do is make a save after buying it and come back and see if that doesn't jog things. I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only 10 euro. Batteries included. Five euro seems fair. It is yours. Okay. Okay. I'm going to save over... Oh no. Like... There's a, there's a new icon which indicates that I have an item. Oh, yeah, I gave VIP to like everyone who's shown up for streams semi regularly just in case like there's any problems in the future. Oh, fuck, I forgot to mod Gray. Okay, I'm gonna exit. And try opening it one more time. Yeah, I don't know. Makes sense to me. Well... Everyone, allow me to express my feelings the only way I know how. Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Well, um, I guess that's fucking been Nancy Drew, Danger by Design. One, one moment. Because at the very least, I can't leave things hanging. No, it's not that it's crashed. A, a, a... A, an essential item I need to buy to beat the game.
like freezes the game there's just there's just no way around this fact and also frankly i was steadily losing my mind Uh, that said, that said, I'm going to feel really bad if I just leave us without any sort of plot resolution. So, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see someone else. Solve the end point. That's swimming around. Okay, I will. Au revoir. What did she... what the... Oh, classic long play. There. What? It's just me, what Nancy. The fuck is that? What's going on? Who's out there? It... What is that? Who's out there? It's just me, Nancy. Uh oh. What did you say? Nothing. Everything's fine. You just stay in there and keep working. Looks like this thing is set to go off if she opens the door. I've got to figure out how to disarm this thing before she opens the door. Someone set her up the ball? Out there. Nothing. Just stay in there. Everything's fine. What the fuck? <sighs> I'm done. I won't bother you anymore. I promise. I better get rid of this thing before she sees it and really freaks. Let me just toss the bomb in the waste basket. Certainly competing for the oh, same God damn it. clients. They made it go back. Okay. <laughs> ah, Rouge the Bat. Rouge. Looks like French to me. Actually, hold on, hold on. Looks like Rouge Bleu. Rouge. Looks like French to me. Hearing Rouge the Bat say Rouge is wonderful. Where did... Where did Heather go? I bet I'm supposed to put these okay. colors in a certain order. what Moisette stole during the war. Stained glass. If you are reading this, it means that I am dead and that you have discovered my secret. Yes, the rumors were correct. With the help of Hans von Schwesterkrank, I took the stained glass you see in front of you and hid it. Not for personal gain, but so these exquisite Wait. pieces of art would not be lost to the no, 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 hold on, hold on, he hold on. a traitor, nor was Hans. He helped me because he knew it was the... What do you mean Hans wasn't a traitor? 
Hans, the German soldier you were dating? So, so he was a Nazi then. So he was just like, uh, 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 perfectly happy being a Nazi then if he wasn't betraying the Germans. And that's like some sort of noble trait for him? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, ma'am. You should have gotten dragged through the mud. The right thing to do. But why, you are asking, why when the war ended did I not return them? Why did I not even admit taking them? At first it was because I was angry. After all that I had done for my country, when my friendship with Hans was discovered, people... My friendship with a Nazi was discovered. They accused me of terrible things. Terrible things, like... Hurt the people of like Paris being a companion with a Nazi. Me, so I said nothing about the stained glass. Then, when at long last I was deemed innocent, my anger subsided, but fear took its place. I was afraid that if I reveal what I had done, the accusations would start up again, and people would once again call me a criminal and question my motives and assail my character, and it would have been too much to bear. Oh, 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 oh! I'm so sad. If I if I returned the artwork that I I hid to protect it from like the war uh, and from like the Germans, then then people might be mad at me. Oh, I'm the most put upon person in the world. Germany, and despite his promises to the contrary, I knew I would never see him again. Like everyone else, I just wanted to get on with what was left of my life. I just wanted so to go again, back to the French. And gradually time passed and Paris healed and I healed. Yet the right time for telling the world my secret never seemed to come. And now I am director of public works, a job I hold not only because I love this city, but because I wanted to make sure that someone, you, would be able to eventually find what I hid. Please make sure these pieces make a safe return to the world above. When you see them as they were meant to be seen, with sunlight streaming through their panes, interrupting the darkness with color and meaning and joy. Only But like like it was not a line that needed to be there. It was not a line that needed to be in the game because I would have just assumed that he was someone like a conscript who like didn't fucking like being a Nazi and help the French resistance, and I would have had the best reading possible. Uh, like, because that that's, why would I not read it that way? But by specifying that he, the, he, the German man, was not a traitor, like, what are you saying? What are you saying? Then will you truly understand why I did what I did a lifetime ago? N T X I V takes this letter and burns it. Uh oh, the door what? locked behind me, and nobody knows I'm down here. Not good. Hey, was that? Why did you add that? If you want your secret, come out. I guess one last test? Does the dress work? It does indeed. Yeah, yeah! What about when I whispered? And when I turned my back? Could you hear what I said then? Gonzo, I could hear everything. With this dress, we will be able to hear every word that is spoken within 10 meters of the First Lady. And what we hear, what we sell, will make us the wealthiest spies on the planet. <laughs> hey! Hey! I made you the dress, so how about paying me? After the first lady takes possession, that is our deal. 
Look, I put up with the dead flowers, the letters, the paint, the idiotic phone calls. I put up with all your stupid threats for months. I deserve to get paid now. Those weren't threats. Those were incentives meant to keep you on track. And they obviously worked. You'll get your money when she gets the dress. Let's go, Gunther. But they're picking it up for her tomorrow. What difference does it make whether you pay me now or 24 hours from now? Oh my gosh, it sounds like Manette made that dress for the first lady to be some kind of bugging device. I've got to get it out of here and take it to the police. I'm going to become the fucking Joker. Where did you come from? You've been hiding in here, eavesdropping. You heard everything, didn't you? Not everything, but enough to know that thanks to you, those two guys intend to use this dress to bug the World Summit. I knew there was something sneaky about you the minute you walked into my office. I should have tossed you out on the spot and told Amy Grunhild to stuck it. Well, newsflash, sister. I am about to knock your nosy little block off. Hey, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going you to become the fucking system. Joker! What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Arms starting to feel a little weak. Where did you learn to block like that? I fought imaginary elves that were stronger than you. What are you? What is? What the? F what are you saying? What are you saying, that, Nancy? True. Hey, might as well give up, Minette. That's <laughs> going to lose. Oh. You never threw a single punch, yet you beat me. Life what? is so unfair. And so horribly unrude. Damn makes you think? gosh and there it was the real reason why Minette wore that mask a tattoo which she later admitted she had gotten on the spur of the moment and which she instantly regretted calling it the stupidest what? thing she'd ever done in her life she what? also admitted that the reason she had fallen so far what? behind schedule was because what? Ernst and Gunther Schmeck former members of the East German secret police were paying her a small fortune to One minute. One minute. My face is in my hands, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to restrain myself. I'm just. Just taking some nice, calming breaths. Mm. 
amount of beats. There's waves. It's very calm. Oh, wow, these bad guys interacting with this evil plan. Uh, they got German accents. So at least it's not going to be like, it, at least it's not going to be that. Oh. 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 create a dress for the first lady out of fabric they supplied. This fabric was infused with microscopic circuitry that would allow them to eavesdrop on the world summit. All three have been arrested, which means Manette will probably be designing her next collection from a jail cell. And she doesn't care for stripes. As for the beautiful pieces of stained glass that Noisette Tornade hid away years ago, they have been returned to the churches they came from. And Noisette is finally getting the respect and gratitude she was denied. You know, Nancy, I don't Not agree. She was perfect, but it seems to me her biggest fault wasn't doing too little for her beloved. No, Not that she was perfect. You know, there much. are bad people on and both as sides. A pair of spies and recovering lost treasure weren't enough. Heather took over Manette's spring show and had me, me, be one of the models. Believe it or not, I managed to make it all the way down the runway and back without falling flat on my face. Of course, I still have no idea what I was wearing, but I can tell you one thing. It was rude. Very rude. You know, there, there, there are good and bad people on all sides. Time to dig out the tank top, stock up on sunscreen, and slip on those sandals. Because for my next adventure, I'm off to Hawaii. To the big island, to be exact. Where I'll be helping out this quirky entomologist. That's a bug scientist. You know. Who has just made a disturbing discovery. I find In myself. Fact, my working vacation quickly turned into a series of disturbing discoveries. Including one that involves a legendary monster with a nasty temper and an appetite for revenge. So come with me to this island paradise and help me solve the mystery surrounding the creature of Kapu K. I I have a suspicion it's probably going to be weird about Hawaiian natives. I mean, I haven't heard that much, like, negative about it, and most of the ones that get weirdly racist I hear things about. I heard that this, that, that Danger by Design was one of the most detested ones, and I understand why for multiple reasons now. So, like, it might not be completely terrible. The next one. We'll fucking find out, I guess. What happened with Heather? I am so darkly curious. You sent Manette about fonts. The letters on it match the letters on one of the threats I found in her dodo box. What? You opened Manette's dodo box? That's the real reason you didn't want me looking in there, isn't it? Okay. A couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so I sent one of my own, but just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her to suffer. You know, emotionally. The way she made you suffer when she started going out with Dieter. You really don't miss a trick, do you? I thought when she dumped him like that that he'd finally come to his senses and realize that I'm the one he should be with. But even now, even after she broke up with him, she still has some kind of weird, sick hold on him. 
Look, you're not going to tell Minette about this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset her all over again. And she's so far behind as it is. And there's no telling how she'd take it out on me. Or on you, for that matter, just for telling her. So don't say anything to her, okay? I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later. Green title updated. What? Why do you wear that mask? This mask is a statement, Nancy. It's Why do you wear that stupid human society, suit? It pays far too much attention to the fa faces. Look at the lines I choose. Face you. Oh. Don't worry about it. What? Oh, it's not cockroaches. And how long it took. Practical. Unequivocally, 100% again. The quiz du Grenouille. Très bien. So like, <laughs> does Heather get kicked out at some point? If not, why? Where the fuck was she? Money well spent. Oh, God. I. You know, that was only two hours, and I can't, in good faith, leave off with that. Let me find something else to put on for, for a hot minute or two, because I... I... Oh, wow. I... Hold on. Let me just... Let me just get a buddy here. Uh, you know what? I, I'm I'm just gonna leave him here. I'm gonna leave him here so next week I can come back and and have to like remember what the hell happened here. Um, I mean, I have played like five or so that came after this, and none of them do that shit. So. Uh, uh Woo All right, changing my scene over. Let's 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 play something cute. Let's let's have a good time and not a bad time. Holy Jesus, fuck. Uh... 
God. One sec, I need to find an unzip a game in that folder. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so this is this is slapped my face so fucking hard that I'm I'm swinging to another extreme, and we're just gonna play a video game that I played a lot as a tiny child. Change that. So, hi, welcome to Rolo to the Rest Tuesday. <laughs> this is the video game I rented a lot as a child. Thank you. Okay, I had to tune in. I tune into Sad Count. Betrayal by Nancy Drew. Uh, SD, I will probably make a highlight video. Um, uh, that one did that, 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 that went badly. Uh, last week it was just all insane. Um, but then. Then the subjects of the German occupation of France and East Germany came up. And you can tell from my tone that it was not good. So anyway, this is Roll of the Rescue. I play an escape circus elephant. He's round, he's cute. It's like a platformer. It's got some sound effects, some some bouncy, springy music. The goal of each stage is to uh, fuck up this guy. And get a key, which you can use to save your fellow animal companions. That were also trapped by the zoo. Uh, primary gimmick is that up to three other characters that you rescue will be following you. And there's a few tricks to get to the stage. And also... You can play as them. To use their special abilities to go out and explore more. Uh, if I had to describe this game in one word, it would it would be mid. If I had to describe it in two words, it would be insanely mid. Uh, but because of when and how often I played it, it holds a special place in my brain meets. And every now and then I just get the desire to replay it and show it off a bit. And anything but talking about Nancy Drew and the Nazi apology, huh? I mean, that's the elephant's main solution. Uh, a notable cute element. Now that I have three of the four types of animal companions around at one time. Um, is that every single one of them have their own, like, animations. They got their own crouches. Their own jumps. And, if I give it a second, they all idle in different ways. This blew my tiny child brain. 
Uh, no, Genesis. It's uh, back from the era when EA was not yet known as a nightmare terror that devoured everything around it. And was just, like, the company what made games that gave a lot of credit to the developers. Anyway, here's a secret. Uh, unfortunately, though, there's no way back out. Um, just assume he escaped and is fine. Don't think about it. <clears throat> Honestly, I think more than anything else, the main thing keeping it perfectly mid is uh, just the fact that the controls have this kind of really soapy slipperiness to them. You can kind of see it, but like... Uh, you, you never truly know how much you you kind of have to fight against them. Um... about uh, uh, feeling it for yourself. To, to give a good example, like, this is me barely holding the button for a split second. It, it's, it is very, like, a lot of EA handled uh, console platform reports of the time. Very, very Euro jank PC design feeling. I guess Eurojank has a different meaning these days and is more towards, like, goofy-ass, uh, FPS games. Got secret exits? What more do you want out of life? It's got mushrooms to teleport you? This stage is like a whole weird puzzle of, uh, the order you gotta go into them. And Lord fucking knows I don't actually remember. Okay, take care, Sabrina. Oh, hey, the first of the power-ups. There's also a lot of those. As the first thing you think of when you think elephant is uh, doing horse shit like this. That's vaguely unnerving to look at. Uh, I think it's this one. No. be in don't think about it mode, but uh, it's hard not to think about it. Wow. It really doesn't help the brief bits of insanity aside, like, uh... Oh, I forgot one of the... God damn it, I forgot one of the puzzle pieces. That's fine. Oh, right! Oh, fuck! Oh, god damn it. This stage. Now, if anything's gonna be a good demonstration of this game's physics, it's gonna be this. Um... The game just kind of... 
there's very little about it that I would call redeeming. Like that that was the flimsiest pot uh, plot pot. Uh flimsiest plot that barely existed until the very end when I wish it didn't. Uh characters that barely talked to me. Just complete lack of direction for the majority of the game. Shit. I shouldn't be holding run until I'm ready to make a sprint for the next one. Uh, a gameplay loop that consisted primarily of paint a fucking picture 60 times to get the money to buy everything you need instead of just, like, finding the items in the world. <laughs> Rough follow-up to what might be my favorite uh, in Blue Moon Canyon. Holy God, Clover, Clover. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh god, this stage. This stage is skin tension in gameplay form. Uh, I immediately took the, the first major split off point, stage progression wise, when I could. And uh, you probably can see how the complexity level kind of skyrocketed from just being kind of a, a basic baby platformer. And not necessarily in a way where I'm out here to go like, to go like, ah, oh, this game, this game's great. It's not for kids at all for some horse shit. Oh, the SNES one? The one that, uh, was, um... Shit. Uh, that was, uh, Jelly Boy in Japan? Wow. This is, like, the worst I've done on this stage in a long time. Probably because I'm busy trying not to think about things. Fuck me. I'm gonna go play the easier stages for a, for a hot minute. Hop up on my back. Okay. <laughs> it's overall a pretty alright time, and the original game is interesting. Since this was back in the day where the entire concept of, uh, of oh they are they arbitrarily changed a bunch of things and made it a completely different like thing was still common in games coming over here and not just something a bunch of of uh of porn brained idiots online claimed is this one yeah it's this one Actually, right. I don't actually have to touch the gate. Uh, 
Ah, right. Here's another one. So this one um, is not as ungodly terrifying as it was when I was a tiny kid and didn't understand an important mechanic about it. Can I actually get up there again? There we go. Which is that if you wait a second, these will start going down and it's a lot easier to aim. Uh, when I was a tiny child, I did this entirely by just immediately jumping up and trying to trying to finagle and remember where the hell the thing was going to be when it's like that far off screen. Oh, God. Oh, interesting. It looks like there's some secret stuff in there. I maybe. Oh. The rabbits have absolutely no chill. Oh, right, I fucked up, actually. I have to take that midway stop. That's fine. <laughs> Game over. Betrayal of Drew. Oh. So how's everybody else doing? We live in a we live in a society. That's that's great. You know, I'm s so glad. I'm probably not gonna like sit down and and try to beat the whole thing, but I, I have a rough idea of around how how much I want to poke into it because the, there's there's a surprising handful of weird gameplay wrinkles uh, that I always enjoy showing people. All right. You know, sure, 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 right, let me get that last one, and I mean, I don't technically need to get the key at this point, because once you beat a stage the first time, all the animals are uncaged.
I just gotta remember where the squirrel is. Right here. I do actually think by this point I could probably just use the squirrel to get the last, um, the last piece I forgot. Not here. By the way, did you did you think that was it for complete horseshit platforming? I should do a safe state actually. At least horseshit by by level consideration of with someone four years old trying to beat this. All oh, right. Ah, fuck. I will have to go back because there was a couple mimmels. God. I, I'm not going to rush to do that. That's just going to be a mistake. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. Write that down. Oh, right, duh, that was really stupid because the guy is only right here. Rolo, you'd never do apologetics for the Nazis, would you? can always count on you, buddy. So, this stage is uh, one of the first and especially interesting secrets. There's no one to rescue. Uh, and you've been seeing these little porcupine motherfuckers the whole game by this point. And if I take that one and return it, From then on, their behavior completely changes. Oh, it's one more stage I can really demonstrate, though. Listen, as a funny cartoon animal, Rolo is confirmed 50 times more likely to not tolerate Nazis. That's just how it works. <sighs> Listen.
Sweet. Of course, a giant corporation like Disney is going to be the source of, of the one furry, the one piece of furry media for, for motherfuckers to just love cops. Just can't get enough of them. Oh, well, I mean, if we're going to bring that up, I have unfortunate news about uh, most most funny cartoon animals and their levels of racism around World War II. <laughs> anyway. Damn it. Fuck. God damn it. I want lives. Oh. Hold on. So, this is an excellent case study of a level that's going to be significantly easier because of doing that side thing. As soon as I get that squirrel. Shit. Uh, I think it was way back up there. Anyway, now they're my buddies. Their special power is being small. Weird. Said knowingly. Yeah, I shrunk in the watch. I could use that exit, or... I could do everyone's favorite gameplay mechanic. Bitches love minecarts. This is objectively true because I do love minecart levels. Fuck. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, it's like how the, um... It's like how the, the initial four stages started with a MIDI rendition of, like... Teddy Bear Picnic. I 
Ah, boss time. Bye. Well, maybe he shouldn't have been pumping weights at me. You explode into the fizzy water that clowns need. I'm trying to remember if there's a secret in here. I don't think so. Fucking bees. I do love the extra fast uh, walking animation to try to visually indicate struggling to get purchased with the ground. There it is. Oh my god, come on. Literally almost there, Clover. All right, I'm going to cheat. Hold on. That's fine, I just need the mon stacked on me to do it. Let me see if I still can do this. Yep. 
Yup. <laughs> I really do love how the hats are entirely too big. Sometimes, sometimes that's all you need for comedy. Sometimes jokes are simple. Missing one more. What's this one? All right. Oh shit, right, it moves. And yet... Oh right, I probably should have killed the key guy first. Oops. Anyway, time for one of the more upsetting mechanics. Oh, no! Oh, shit. I needed one of the porcupines. Uh, there might still be something. <laughs> nope. I simply chained it. Wait, why isn't that active? So they didn't find everybody yet. Ah. Oh, let's get that other thing. the fucking cactus motherfuckers.
Oh god, those. I can feel my skin tensing. shouldn't actually bother trying to fuck with them. I'm not especially good at it. Oh no, that's just the itch in my brain that makes me a uh, completionist freak. It just has a side effect of being beneficial. That's fine. The important thing is to move on to the second boss so you can see what a fucking escalation it is over the first one. God, I'm sorry. I, 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 oh. Velvet, you've done psychic damage to me because I managed everything, everything sandwiching, uh, that fucking fight made me forget the fight. Because everything else was such a nightmare. And so was that. That's the kind of nightmare where you wake up and forget it happened. Motherfucker. So many people die when this guy does his act. Just, just audience members falling like leaves. So many lives lost, like tears in the rain. I missed. I messed up. No, I only get one shot. One opportunity. Shit. And you have to take a little bit of a run at it. So it's not like you can just hop up with no momentum. It's so cruel, he's. All right. You can press start and control the void. 
Oh. Right. Uh. Hell yeah. Semi, hell yeah. Okay, I do still have it. Fuck me, Clover, that was dumb. Why'd I do that? That timing was dog shit. I knew what was gonna happen. Oh. You know, I'll take it. Whoops am I to complain? Uh Hmm. Well, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Shit. Ah, another of these. I'll wait on the washing machine. Spit fire on me. <laughs> Let him cook. I don't know what's in here. Be on a jump scare. Alright, so there's a rock to pick up with the vacuum, but why? Oh, oops. Yeah, that's the one problem with these warping stages. You can, uh... You can lose your friends. It's very unfortunate.
Hmm. What do I want the rock for then? The rock for files. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, get out! Why is this even here? I'm so curious! I'll never know. Looking motherfuckers. God, where is it? <laughs> Literally, where the fuck is it? I saw a bug here! Fine, doesn't matter. can make that. Okay, still missing a couple. the last one. Ah. Somehow I don't think the beavers are going to be all that useful in this stage. Just a little suspicion. was really convinced something fucked was going to happen during that So it's kind of strange it didn't. Huh. Oh, right, 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 right. Ah, oh, good. More of this.
so interesting. So there's definitely something to either shrink or a... Or a porcupine in the stage somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. There we go. Uh oh. That wasn't even really that worth it. That's fine. Oh, oh, ripped in that fucking squirrel! Oh my god! Oh, and they were exactly the one I needed to not die. That's great. It's fine. Very rude. Oh, another washing machine. A lot of those. Oh, God. Well, if you win some, you lose some. To the fires of hell. I think I think I am sufficiently uh, my tits are sufficiently cooled off from that from that shit that fucking crap uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go quickly see Hoomst is online is online. And <laughs> you didn't hear that. That's fine. That's normal. Uh alright, I see someone playing Resident Evil. Well, 
Oh yeah, it's been uh fun. I'm glad I wasn't the only one to see that shit with my own eyes. Uh uh a little bit shorter than usual today, but that's fine. I don't have to always push myself to stream for hours and hours and hours. Um I hope everyone has a good uh, a good day and I hope next week is less whatever the fuck that was with Nancy. Uh Take care, everybody. God, yeah. All right, bye bye. this time when we try this yeah let's do it hey now nightbox playing nice nice Ooh. thank you for the raid hi welcome how was your stream rollo to the rescue rollo to the rescue Ooh, what's that we never heard of it but thank you hi we're grief we're a trans plural streamer lady uh we play a variety of games Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, hi, yeah, we do art. We play a variety of games. Right now, we're in the middle of Resident Evil. We're playing four games from the Resident Evil series in four days to celebrate the remake mm. coming out on Friday. And this is our wonderful co co host and co pilot, Justin, who actually knows the games. We've never played them before. That's me. I'm mm -hmm. an expert and I stream too. You Absolutely. can follow me. Yeah. Hi, I'm putting hi in chat right now. That's me. I'm playing through yeah. this game. I'm going to finish it oh, tomorrow, great. probably in the morning. What's up, Grape? Hi, Grape. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Grape. Yeah, well, that stream went places. Hey, fair enough. Oh, Ooh. it's a Genesis game? Ooh, oh, cool. fun. Fun. That sounds cute. All right, Keeper's Diary. Yeah, we have never played this series before, and uh, apparently we're going at a slow rate here. Yeah, so I'm trying to speed this process up a little bit. Oh, this di this uh, text is important. You have to pay attention. Yeah, I have to. May 9th, 1998. Late poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. <laughs> May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. Looks like a skinned gorilla. <laughs> 